Okay, so now we're going to look at Ninja Pin into Mountain Ninja and our CPR armbar. Okay, so this is a really good series to go through, um, especially for, for a self-defense situation, because these are really good dominant positions for a kiddo to get into. Um, and good places to be where we can use our verbal jujitsu to de-escalate the situation that we're in. So we're going to start in Hit the Ninja, which again is our side mount, okay? And in one of the last videos we talked about this in a little bit more detail. So if you need some more details on this, go back and watch that video. So once I'm in side mount here, nice and tight. Okay, this is a great position, but in jujitsu we can always improve things a little bit. There's always some, some way we can do things a little bit better. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to open our hands and I'm going to lace my arm across the waist just like that. Okay, so if she's trying to bring her knees in, I can keep them away a little bit more. Now really all that I want to do is bring my right knee or my left knee up to my left elbow and I'm going to slide my knee across the belly until both knees are down on either side of the hips. This is what we call mount, okay, or mount the ninja. Once I'm here, I have my feet. I want to glue the tops of my feet to the ground so there's very little space and then I want to try to bring my toes together around my opponent's bum, okay? And then the next step is my upper body. There's no reason for me to sit up here unless I'm striking, but that's not what we want to do in a self-defense situation. So instead, we're going to have nice big airplane wings and we're going to land our airplane, okay? What we call airplane base and I'm going to stay nice and low just like this. So a couple of big things we pay attention to here. Number one is when the person tries to push us off, okay? If Coach Ann pushes really hard, I'm gonna get pushed off pretty easy. She's probably gonna get up and get on top of me and then we're gonna have a bad situation. So, when the person tries to push, and especially if this is a bigger, stronger bully, this is gonna be super calm, okay? So as soon as she pushes, we need to stay here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one arm first. We never wanna go two arms at once. One arm is gonna swim inside like this. One, two, and we go right back to airplane base. And then she can push again. Okay, and I'll swim through. She pushes again. Okay, and you know what? We do this three, four times. She's gonna get tired of pushing on me. She's gonna get tired. Okay, and then the last step we're gonna use here is a little bit more advanced negotiation tactic. Okay, and that's our CPR armbar, one of the submissions they learned to get through. So when she pushes on me this time, okay, we call it CPR because I'm gonna put my hands very much like CPR position. Okay, one hand goes under the arms, one hand goes over the arms. So notice my fingers. Are touching or, or pointing towards my wrist just like this so this is position one then what we do is we shift our weight onto our hands so that really helps keep on my, the other person on their back okay so we're gonna slide up to position two which is where I bring my knee up by the ear and that keeps this arm trapped on the inside of my leg just like this okay my hands are gonna stay on the chest the whole time okay I don't want to let go and grab the arm I just keep my hands right on the center of the chest then the last step we're gonna use here is we're gonna lean forward, and I don't wanna bring my leg over the head, I wanna swing my knee around the head, kinda of like a rainbow, okay? So I'm gonna swing my knee around the head, and then we just sit down, just like this. My hands come off the chest, and we're gonna hug this arm to my chest. So if you turn a little bit, you get a little bit better view. I've got this arm in between my knees, just like this, and my toes are touching, okay? And we treat this just like a joystick, too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hug the arm, and then typically I'll come out, and grab that joystick and control the joystick. I also want the thumb pointed away from me. And again, we refer to this as a negotiation tactic because now I can use a little bit of pressure to resolve the situation, to de-escalate, okay? Because what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna hurt her arm at all. I just wanna talk the situation out so we can be done, okay? And maybe if we need to, we let go of this, we can even go back to it. Pin the ninja if we want to, then we can go back to mount the ninja, and we can go through the whole series all over again. Okay, so that is your pin the ninja into mount the ninja and our CPR bar. Thank you very much.